It looks like Elon Musk's boring company is possibly building another Hyperloop in somewhere in Texas, maybe in Austin or somewhere, because Boring Company is launching hiring spree in Austin, home of Tesla's Giga Texas. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Joey Klender from TeslaRadi.com reports that Elon Musk's Boring Company appears to be joining his other entity tesla in austin texas a tweet from musk's tunneling company the boring company has revealed that it will begin hiring for several new positions at the location of tesla's most recently announced production facility in austin known as giga texas according to the boring company website it will be hiring an electric engineer lead electrical and technician, mechanical engineer, power electronics engineer, senior mechanical engineer, business development lead, and a lead technical uh, recruiter in Austin as it looks to expand its presence in the area. Now, those are some very interesting uh, positions, right? But not the last one, lead technical recruiter so they're going to be on a hiring spree uh, hiring more people they're hiring recruiter in order to bring more technicians to the boring company in austin where tesla is building giga texas interestingly uh, joey Klender from tesla radi notes that the boring company does not have any currently listed projects in austin of the state of texas in general the currently listed projects include the Hawthorne Test Tunnel in Los Angeles, uh, the Las Vegas Convention Center Loop, and the two prospective plans for underground tunnels in LA and the Baltimore-Washington DC metro area. However, there is undoubtedly room for more projects as underground loops prove advantageous and appealing and cost-effective. For example, the LVCC loop is being sought out by several hotels and resorts uh, along the Las Vegas Strip, providing that some companies are interested in being included in Elon Musk's plan to make travel in uh, Las Vegas more efficiently. It is unknown whether the boring company is simply setting up an office in Texas, as Elon Musk has hinted that he will move the Tesla to uh, Lone State in Texas in the future or if the underground tunneling company is planning to set up a new transportation system for the massive number of employees who will work at the Giga Texas site. So question for our readers, watchers, and followers. Do you guys think that, that Tesla is moving, Elon Musk is moving the boring company to Texas, or do you think there may be talks or some type of agreement for a new transportation uh, on the um, uh, loop project in some we're in Texas, maybe in Austin, uh, where Tesla is uh, building the Giga Texas factory and Austin is known for having a, a big traffic. Now, based on the reports from Elon Musk, we know that Tesla Giga Texas will now will not be the ordinary Tesla production facility. It will be an ecological paradise, Elon Musk said, with biking trays, a boardwalk, and a visitor center, all of which will make the experience well-rounded for anyone who visits. So this is uh, Tesla Giga Texas is going to be a place where you can take your children and have a good afternoon or in the evening. Now, a jo uh, Tesla Radio article also reports that the introduction of an underground tunnel in Austin from Giga Texas to numerous hotspots is certainly feasible. So I will not personally be surprised if Tesla builds an underground tunnel through Giga Texas because Giga Texas is going to be huge. Maybe they can have some attraction there or something like that, some amusement thing going on underground. Who knows, to make it more appealing to people. The production plant will be located just a few miles outside of the Austin downtown area. Musk stated in an interview with Automotive News that many of Tesla's executives were interested in moving to Austin. That's one of the reasons Tesla chose Austin for building its um, 
a second giga factory in the united states centrally located hopefully for catering the needs of tesla uh, tesla's needs in the eastern region of the uh, central and eastern region of the united states when talking to key members of the team that would need to move to austin from california to get the factory going austin was their top pick to be totally frank musk said in that interview and also that that, that was a big factor in choosing Texas and Austin, specifically Austin. I guess a lot of people from California, if you ask them, what's the one place you would move outside of California? It's Austin. So see how the decisions are made in big corporations. You know, a lot of times we thought it was going to be Oklahoma, even Elon Musk visited to Oklahoma and uh, they were had, uh, they had very good camaraderie between, between the, uh, going between the Oklahomas and uh, 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 the state officials there but it looks like the final choice is when you present choices people say you know we would rather move to austin and that's basically a big choice because tesla has to find workers who are willing to locate to austin now uh, to the new place to have the new gigafactory going um, with tesla introducing a full-fledged facility that will provide visitors with some entertainment there is a good chance like i said that the introduction of the boring company facility will connect the new electric vehicle production building to the city that it is nearest to uh, says uh, concludes uh, joey klander from tesla Radi. by the way speaking of hyperloop speaking of the boring company you know today there is a big news from virgin hyperloop which virgin hyperloop announced sunday actually yesterday that humans have traveled in its super fast vacuum tube for the first time albeit at limited speed and um, the futuristic mode of transport which involves firing a pod through a low pressure tunnel was tested by the company's chief technology officer josh uh, giegel and sarah lucian uh, who is director of passenger experience uh, cnbc reports that on sunday afternoon they traveled 500 meters that's not much that's like half kilometer in 15 seconds on a test site outside las vegas where the company has already completed over 400 unoccupied tests see this is all again going in just outside las vegas where tesla's boring company actually elon musk's boring company is working building the las vegas loop um, cnbc says they reached around 100 miles per hour 160 kilometers per hour which is some way off the 1000 kilometer hour plus speeds the company hopes to achieve but it is still it still marks a significant step forward for hyperloop funds by way of comparison china has magnetic levitation trains that run at 268 miles per hour between shanghai and pudang airport um, richard branson founder of the virgin group said in a statement with today's successful test we have shown that this spirit of innovation will in fact change the way people everywhere live work and travel in the years to come Hyperloop uses electric uh, propulsion and electromagnetic levitation in near vacuum condition to transport pods from A to B. In 2013, by the way, Tesla founder Elon Musk in, uh, said it would allow people to travel from Los Angeles to San Francisco in about 30 minutes. At the time, many people said the idea would remain science fiction. But you see how far we have come back. And now Tesla hiring in a hiring speed at Giga uh, Texas in Austin uh, for an unknown project. Now, other firms are also racing to develop the hyperloop concept but virgin hyperloop is the only company to have successfully tested the technology with passengers beyond uh, uh, with with tesla of course when we started in a garage over six years ago the goal was simple to transform the way people move said giggle who co-founded uh, virgin hyperloop today we took uh, one giant leap toward the ultimate dream not only for me but for all of us who are looking towards a moonshot right here on earth 
while the scaled back test is a step forward making Hyperloop a reality, it is still not clear if the concept will be safe at full speed. Virgin Hyperloop, which has raised over $400 million from investors, including the Virgin Group, says the transportation method will be faster, safer, cheaper, and more sustainable than current methods of transportation. What do you think, friends? Do you think you would be willing to travel in a Hyperloop? And what do you think about the boring company's launching of Hynix P in Austin, uh, home of Tesla's Giga Texas? Do you think it's a special transportation pro project or uh, maybe this is just for amusement or entertainment for the visitors and Tesla workers? I don't know. I would love to hear from you what you think, guys. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone. See you soon and peace be with all of you.